Hello, this is Brother Cromer from the Math Department of BYU-Idaho, and these videos I'll be uh, talking about describing bivariate data, scatter plots, correlation, and covariance. So here's the outline for these videos. First I'll talk about a scatter plot, then I'll follow it up with a correlation coefficient, then I'll talk about form, direction, and strength of a linear relationship, and I'll be using scatter plots and cor correlation coefficient to determine the form, direction, and strength then covariance, then the effect of outliers when, when looking at a linear relationship, and then nonlinear relationships. So first of all, by definition, a scatter plot or scatter diagram displays the relationship between two quantitative variables that are measured on the same individuals. We mark all the values of one variable on the horizontal axis and the values of the other variable on the vertical axis, and we plot each of the individual data at, as a point on the graph. So here's an example, or two examples, of two scatter plots. For instance, if we look over here to the right, um, this is where we're trying to predict the number of manatee killed with powerboat registrations in Florida. So in each year, there was a certain number of powerboat registrations, and then the number of manatee were killed were recorded. So what we can see here, and so there are so many years that were recorded, we can see here that there seems to be a positive relationship meaning that as the number of powerboat registrations go up then the number of manatee killed also go up. Here's another example over here so we have mi we have we're trying to predict mileage or price based off of mileage uh, with a Toyota Sienna and so say for instance for each car there's a number of miles here say this miles here is about 800,000 with the price being about 8,000 and so if we were to um, if we were to plot all these different cars uh, with the points with mileage and price, we could see that we have uh, the, that the relationship is negative. The direction is negative because as the mileage goes up, the price goes down. Okay, for for a Toyota Sienna. So the next thing I want to talk about is a correlation coefficient. So a correlation coefficient. I have. Let me just expand this here a little bit. Correlation, or R, calcula is the calculation to determine the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two quantitative variables. And here are eight items that you should know about when it comes to correlation. Correlation, or R, is always a number between negative 1 and 1. Positive values of R imply a positive linear relationship between the two variables. Negative values of R imply a negative linear relationship between the two variables. Values of R close to zero suggest there is a weak correlation between the two variables. Okay? And R close to one is evidence of a strong positive linear relationship. R close to negative one, there is evidence of a strong negative linear relationship between the two variables. And if R is equal to one or negative one, then there is a perfect linear relationship between the two variables. All points fall on the line. And then the last thing is that correlation of X and Y is the same as the correlation between Y and X. There's no distinction between what's the explanatory and what's the response variable. Okay. Now, correlation, however, is not resi is resistant. Okay. So outliers can greatly change the value of R. And if you see outliers, and we'll talk about those a little bit later, if you examine the outliers and determine their influence on the relationship between X and Y, what we could do is if we have, say, one or two outliers, we get an R, value of R, with a, with a, uh, when we look at an x and y variable. And if we see two outliers, we can pull those two outliers out just to see how much how much your r changes, for instance. Okay. Now the cor the last bullet point is the, the correlation coefficient r is a sample statistic. It is an estimate of the population correlation coefficient, which we will denote as this is the Greek letter rho. We usually do not know rho, but we estimate it with r, just like we estimate uh, mu, which is a population mean with our sample mean, which is x bar. Okay. Now here's a couple of examples of a correlation. This is output from SPSS. If we're trying to look at the correlation between the number of manatee killed and the powerboat registration, we see that the correlation or R is 0.952. So based off of that, we see that it's a strong relationship because going back to this, R close to 1 means that it's a strong relationship, but not only strong since it's positive, it's close to one, it's a strong positive linear relationship. Okay. Now take a look at this. Now if you want to stop the video, take a look at this uh, value of R, comparing mileage and price, and tell me what you see. Is the relationship strong? Is it positive? Is it negative? What do you see based off of this? Well, this one, since you have a negative and it's close to one, it's, it's, it is negative, but also since it's close to, close to negative one, 
is going to be fairly strong as well too. Not as strong as what we see over here, but it is fairly strong. Okay, so the next item is to dealing with, and I alluded to this earlier with the previous sections, is the form, direction, and strength of a linear relationship. So ex when examining a scatter plot and correlation, or R, three items to look for in an overall pattern. First, the form. Is it a linear relationship? Do the points show a straight line pattern or close to a straight line pattern? Um, and, and that is an important form of relationship between two variables. A curved relationship is another form to watch for. Okay? And that's not, so, but the main ones, at least for this course, is we're looking for linear relationships to see if the, line, if the dots fall at or close to a straight line. The direction, if the relationship has a clear direction, we speak of either positive direction or association or negative association. And the strength is determined by how close the points are to the scatter plot line. Okay. So also look for outliers and other deviations for this pattern. So if the points are really close to a straight line here, the strength is going to be fairly strong. But if they're more spread out, the data is more spread out, then R will not be as strong. Okay, so let's go through a couple of examples of this here. For instance, we can go through, and this is kind of a spectrum of what you might see when you look for correlation and look for how the form, direction, and strength of a linear of a relationship here. First of all, if you look at this here, the form, there doesn't seem to be any form, so least of all, it's nonlinear. Okay? The direction, in this case, there is no direction, and the strength is fairly weak. If we look at this one right here, where the point, if this is, if this is the vertical axis, this, uh, the horizontal axis, and this is the vertical axis, we can see here that the form, it may be at least somewhat linear, but if it is, the direction is weak, or, or the direction is negative, and the strength is it's fairly is still fairly weak. Now, if we go over here, where we have this is our vertical and this is our horizontal axis, the form is start maybe more linear, but not it's it's still a little hard to tell. But the direction is positive, and the strength in this case it may be moderate, not necessarily weak, but not strong either. Now, when we get over here to the bottom left, we see that our correlation uh, with correlation negative 0.7, we see that the form uh, is is starting to become linear. The direction is negative, and then the strength is starting to get fairly strong. Notice that the points, if we were to draw a line here, the points are getting close to that line, or getting closer compared to what we see up here. Over here, the correlation is 0.9. With this, with this is our scatter plot. So this one would be the form would be linear, the direction would be positive, and the strength would be strong. And then the last one here is where it's definitely linear. The points are very close together, so the direction is strong or the strength is strong and the direction is negative okay so now uh, so here's a couple more examples here is the here is an example of the uh, powerboat registration versus manatee killed we see that it is positive as one value goes up the other goes up as well and we have an R of 0.952 so the form is definitely linear with the direction positive and the strength is fairly strong with the price with the price versus mileage of car for Toyota Sienna if you take a look at this, we see here that it's going in a negative direction. It's fairly strong and it looks fairly linear. So that's what we'll say here. The form is linear, the direction is negative, and the strength is strong. It's fairly strong. Okay. Now what I like what I like to do is I like to stop the recording and for the last um, the last three segments, covariance, effective outliers, and nonlinear relationships will be in part two of these videos.